Hello, fifth grade music students. Today, we are going to be doing a lesson on the essential question of what is music? Jumping in to the most essential question of our course in music this year. Let's go. On this slide, I have included six quotes from great thinkers about the meaning of music. Read each quote to yourself, and in a moment, your teacher will ask you which one of the quotes was most meaningful to, to you, and be prepared to tell us why. By the end of this lesson, you will experiment with combining found sounds together in small groups. You may decide to share some of what you've discovered with your teacher and your classmates. I've included this example to get you thinking. When we're done watching this video clip, I'll be asking you, what was your favorite sound? How did the composer organize the sounds and what patterns did you notice? Enjoy. So this is going to be the fun part of the lesson. In a moment, we are going to be going into what I call breakout rooms. So you're starting whole class right now on the left side of the screen, and we are going to be moving into six different rooms. And because we're splitting up the class into so many smaller parts, you're going to have a just maybe two, three, or four students in each of the rooms, depending on your class size. When you are in that small room, you are going to be creating something called a soundscape. A soundscape is a, uh, a sounds that are emerging from your environment, which I'll explain on the next screen. Today, we are going to be working on our soundscapes in the small rooms. Next week, we're going to perform our soundscapes in the main room for everyone to enjoy.
Once you are in your small groups, you are going to create a soundscape using items found around your homes. Last week, you were, or the lesson goal was to get you thinking about items in your home that you can use for a soundscape. And um, this week, we're going to try to find ways to combine the sounds in a small group um, to make some music. So during fifth grade, we'll be doing a lot of creating sounds with varying degrees of structure or rules. But today, I just want you to experiment. I don't have a lot of rules, but I do have the four, these four simple rules for you today. One, do not damage anything. Two, try not to use a traditional or regular instrument like drums or guitar. Just something simple like school supplies that are right next to your desk would be entirely appropriate. Or you can use your voice to make sound effects, or you can uh, even sing if you want. Number three, listen to your teammates. And four, put everything back where it came from. Don't worry, you'll have time for questions after the next slide. When you first get into your small group in your breakout room, it would be helpful to ask yourself a few questions. The first question is, which instruments are being used by your, you and your teammates? So you might want to share them individually first and talk about them, make different sounds, and listen to feedback from your teammates. And then, is everyone playing the same pattern at the same time? Or are you creating two or three different patterns to play at the same time? You might want to try both. You can do an experiment to see what you like the best. And then finally, make sure that you practice with the allotted time that you have for the rest of the period and put the soundscape together. Check out the next slide for a performance of an example of what I'd like you to accomplish today. Okay, so before you start your own soundscape and your teacher helps you to get into your small groups, I wanted to share a soundscape of my very own with my guest stars, my wife, Ms. Rotundi, and my baby, Maria. Enjoy. Hi, kids. This is Mr. Scro and Ms. Rotundi and Maria. And we're going to give you a little example of what we're looking for on this Flipgrid component if you choose to share your <coughs> instruments um, from your home. So we have some of it, uh, Maria's toys here and guest starring Leon the lion. And let's start. <laughs> 